Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. <sighs> the word of the Lord today is really, really crazy. It's been something we have been wanting to hear. The Father says today that you are my ox. You're going to plow through the fields that have been stagnant, yet it is so ripe. It is ready to go forth and produce the largest harvest we have ever seen, that you have ever seen. And the Father says, with truth and sincerity and His own authenticity, that you are part of the biggest revival that this world has yet to see. No, don't question me. How can it be, says the Father? What am I going to do? The Father says, because you have no confidence in you is why I'm using you and I'm sending you forth like an arrow and you are going to pierce through the lies of the enemy. You, right now, are going to sit with your suffering, your trauma, your fear, your dirtiest, darkest secrets of how you have been plagued since before you can remember even. Because out of that is coming your greatest compassion, and your compassion is what I live for. The Father says that I went through everything. Jesus Christ said, I am the high priest that's able to understand every insult, every liability, every problem that you've ever encountered or you will encounter. You can't even think of problems. Great as I went through. But he said, why? Because I was moved with compassion every time. Ooh. He says, do you think I wanted to do what I did every miracle at that time? Did I want to preach every second? No, I was flesh as well. But it wasn't about me, says the Lord. It was for the greater good. It was my father's plan. And I'm obedient unto my father, even unto death. I'm not asking you to die, says the Lord. I'm asking you to live and give out that life that I have given you. So freely you have received, now freely give. Look like an idiot. Go crazy. Be stupid in your love, in your help. I'm giving you the great gift of administration. I'm releasing you into areas. I see rooms, rooms that are empty, rooms that have just bare, dried up stuff on the desk, some stale paper, a dried up pen. But the Lord says, I'm sending you in because you're going to bring change. You're going to decorate and redecorate so it doesn't look like anything in the past. You're new. You're hot. You're ready to launch forward. The father says, you ain't waiting on me anymore. I'm waiting on you. He says it with love. He says it with a smile. I see a smile on the face of our Jesus Christ right now saying, I'm calling unto you. I'm beckoning you. Get up. Step into it. And at the second you step into it, my grace is going to knock you over. You're going to feel high in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I'm on standby. He says, I'm right here. Second, the second, the second you step foot, the second you make your mind up, I'm going to kick in. I'm going to empower you. Don't think about it again, the Father says. It's not all about you. That should take the pressure off. Okay, the Father says to tell you, when I was going to start this YouTube channel, I didn't want to. I was annoyed. I felt uncomfortable. I was full of anxiety. I'm like, Lord, nobody's going to listen. Everybody knows this. To my surprise, right? The Father kept telling me over and over again that if you don't speak, Roxanne, deliverance, the greatest revival is going to come to my people, but it's going to come through somebody else. And it scared me. The fear of the Lord hit me. It was a good fear. I needed that push. I needed that kick in the butt from my Father. And He kept saying, do it. Now, now, now I kept seeing 414, whatever number you're seeing, the father tells me to tell you whatever number you're seeing is crazy or, or stupid or, or, or out of the box that it is. He says, I am speaking to you. Look up the number biblically. You got common sense. You know how to stay with the Lord. Look up words I'm giving you right now. Look up phrases. It's not a mantra. It's the Holy Ghost speaking deep into your spirit. Get quiet, says the Lord. I'm hand 
feeding you like a mama feeds a baby. I'm putting it in your mouth. I'm even wiping the spoon. I'm wiping your face after you take that bite so you don't have any residue of the past. The father says that this is a time of freedom for my people and people's souls. Their salvation are, is connected to your obedience. He says, yeah, I'm talking to you. This is to you, to the least of you. For the last shall be the first. Get up, says the father. This is a clarion call. I'm going to beckon you and beckon you and beckon you, but my spirit won't wrestle with you forever. You are saved, but it doesn't mean I'm going to send you and use you. How can I if you sit on your hands? The father says, hear me today. My love and my passion is all over you. There's a fire hitting your body. I see it surrounding you. It's hedging you in. It's a Holy Ghost liquid love. It's electricity. Ooh, it feels good. It's a tingling of the Holy Spirit. He's waking you up. The places that you were cold, the places that you were numb, they are coming alive. They are defrosting. The Father says you're defrosting. You're feeling something in your face, in your head, in your feet. Mm. The Father says, I have given permission unto you. Who says you can't do it? Who said? Who is they? Don't listen to the religious spirits or that Jezebel spirit, wherever it's coming from. Whoever is being influenced by the spirit of control and manipulation and intimidation and it's draining you. It's sucking the life out of you. It's choking you. It's stopping your voice. It's stopping your ideas, your intelligence. The Lord says, don't tarry with it any longer. Don't tolerate that woman Jezebel. Don't tolerate that controlling, manipulating, lying, mean man, that mean woman, whoever is coming at you with patterns of control. The word is control. Look it up, says the father. Get away. Run away. You have permission to leave. I gave you common sense. You know what to do. You don't float around on a cloud. You live in a physical world. Use what I've given you, says the Lord. He says, yeah, I'm preaching unto you, but I'm bringing force. I'm not just preaching empty words. This is words that are alive and living and sharper than any two-edged sword. I say for you to cast your cares unto me because I care for you watchfully, affectionately. I maintain you. I steward you. Now I put it back in your hands. I have ultimate control, but I want you to move when I say move. Stop when I say stop. Learn how to hear my voice, says the Father. Learn how to prophesy. Learn how to use that in every area, every field, every part of your life, because it's a download of wisdom. It's going to be of quick understanding. You're not going to have to hesitate, procrastinate, or deviate from what I've called you to do. Ooh, the Father says that this is a time of rejoicing and celebration because heaven is. Because he says, I know, I know that you're going to answer the call. I'm calling. Get it. You don't have to know the number. Just answer the phone and I will greet you with a warm welcoming and a ticket saying you have my permission. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. He says, I am the Lion. I came as the Lamb, but now I've come and I'm coming back as the Lion of the tribe of Judah, I'm fierce. I've made you fierce. I'm dangerous. I've made you dangerous. I'm compassionate. You are compassionate. I am patient. You are patient. I am gentle. You are gentle. I am kind. You are kind. But I'm not a kickover. I'm not a pushover. I'm not a doormat, says your father, your friend, your savior, the lover of your soul, the watchman of everything that happens to you. The father says, rise up is a real word. I'm not just cheering you on. I'm giving you direction. Hmm. Command everything that is affecting you. Confront it and control it. I'm telling you to, says the Lord. In this season, today, I see the next two days, the next five days, the next week. Get rid of it. Pluck it up because I'm planting something else in you. I'm putting something in its place. If you're in a dead, dry, nasty, death-bringing relationship that is bringing no fruit, they're not bearing fruit. You've been dying for years. Take a look at that. Do something about it. 
If you're in something that's bringing death, what is the opposite of death? Life. Find it. Live it. I set before you life and death. Choose life, says the Father. Mm. Guard what goes into your mind. Guard the very people, the religious spirits that hold you down. Rise up. I made you to be crazy. I made you to be weird. I made you to be an introvert. Because when I get to you and I work through you, you're going to be loud. You're going to be powerful because you are my voice. You're my ambassador. Jesus said that you overcome, that the people you're going to influence will overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. And they did not live, love their life even unto death. And I'm not asking you to physically die or hang on a cross because I did that. But I'm asking you to put your ego away. Put your pride aside. Dead men don't feel. And I told you to crucify your flesh. Put off the old man and put on the new. And how do you get there? There's a bridge in between. You start picking up what's new. How do I want you to be? How do I want you to act? Go read in Corinthians. What is love? Love is patient. Love is kind. Long, love is long suffering. It doesn't hold a record of wrongdoing. It bears much things. But do not take bearing much things as being stepped on and kicked and killed and, and spit on. No, use the common sense, the wisdom I've given you, not as the world tells you, but as I tell you, as I announce freedom unto you today, draw from the well of my word, draw from the well of my Holy Ghost. If you're scared, do it. Take a step of faith you don't have to know it all because you will know as you go. Swallow my word. Read my word. Lagos and Rhema. Stop fearing. Don't despise prophecy, says the Father. Don't take light of it. War with those words. Read them over and over and over again. And when you're scared and you want to give up, remember the word of the Lord. Mm. Command your destiny. I hear it clear. That's it, guys. When he stops, I stop. Ooh, what a powerful word. It just fed me. I'm floating right now. All right, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. If it blessed you, if it built you up, if it did anything positive for you today, subscribing helps the algorithm, which has us a, a, a further reach. So that why? So we can bring life of the gospel, of the truth to people that need it. Guys, this world is dying. They're in the dark. Think of how bad you've been recently. Think of the things you've gone through. What do they need to hear? Your voice, my voice, the word of God through us. So share, share, share this video. Even if you're scared or you don't know people are going to receive, hit share. Mm. Okay, if you liked this video, if it did anything, again, encourage you, strengthen you, made you smile, made you think of God, hit the like button. It helps too. You guys, your comments are amazing. Your community, I love it. I love getting to know you guys. I see you guys helping people on there that need help. It makes me so glad and cheerful. That's what spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers do. Oh, I know what Apostle Paul said now. He was, was joyful. He was rejoicing because of their faith, because of their perseverance, because of their growth. Mm. Okay, guys, if you feel led by the Holy Spirit of God to give into this ministry, to donate, to sow your seed, your sacrifice, please do so. The information is in the description. Be obedient. If you want to sign up for the prophetic group class, it's personal prophetic ministry, you guys. I'm just starting it. I got a lot of invites. I'm going to see how it goes. If you're not in the first class, I'll let you know about the second and third. If we do it, I think it's going to be great. So again, you guys, do it. It's worth it. Mm. Not everybody offers this. Take God up on this. When you're in the anointing of the prophetic, it spills over unto you. That's what the Father says. Take it. Get in it. Let it get on you. All right. I love you guys. I'm done preaching. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your day no matter what comes at you. Because you've already, you, you've beat it. You have the victory. It's done for you. All right. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.